Lifetime Audio. Today we're going to go through the Mac built-in camera and mic. Then we're going to do it with the camera and the AirPods. That seems to be a pretty good alternative for a traveling microphone or lavalier mic. Next, we're going to try the Logitech C920 camera and mic, and then split it with the camera and the AirPods. GoPro Hero 5, camera and mic, camera and AirPods, and then the Owl Pro, the one that follows you around. We're just going to use its camera and mic because one of the features is that the microphones detect where you are and it follows you around the room. We are doing this on Zoom with the HD setting. That's super important because without the HD setting, it looks uh, much more grainy. So we are on Zoom and I am recording this using Zoom. So the first you already know is the camera and microphone back built in. I'm gonna switch it to the AirPods, see how that changes a bit. Okay, now I am still using the FaceTime camera, but I have switched to the AirPods. Also notice that I have something written here, as well as a picture, because I think that illustrates some of the differences in what you're going to be displaying on a smart board or on the regular whiteboard. Uh, so we're just gonna look at the FaceTime using just a regular whiteboard. It has less light. So this is the whiteboard version of the FaceTime on the MacBook Pro FaceTime camera. Next. Next, let's switch to the Logitech C920 camera and microphone. You can see that there is a pretty good resolution here of these pieces. Uh, hopefully the audio is good. Also, the audio is good because you, as you walk around the room, if you're helping a student in the back of the room, although you can't see them, you can hear fairly well using this microphone. One of the issues that we're seeing is that the camera comes in and out of focus. So uh, there is one little extra step that you might have to use, and that would be downloading the driver and adjusting the focus so it doesn't autofocus. And there's that. Let's try it with the microphone using the AirPods. So microphone now is using the AirPods. So again, going through a couple of things here, I'm using the AirPod in my ear and you can still see the screen using the Logitech C920. Okay, now we're using the uh, Logitech C920 on the whiteboard, so this is a little different lighting. Uh, we're using the Logitech C920. It might be positioned just slightly differently, but this is the resolution you get with just a regular whiteboard. Let's move on to the GoPro Hero 5. GoPro Hero 5 mounted on a tripod. And that is uh, what we're seeing right now. The clarity is really good. And it, the audio uh, I have yet to hear. So we'll find that out shortly, but this is the GoPro Hero 5. I also will test it at the back of the room. So if you can hear me in the back of the room. This is a so we're using the AirPods for the audio. One of the reasons I wanted to try this is I wasn't sure whether the sync would work. Would the motion of my mouth sync up with the audio that you hear would it be out of sync uh, just because the GoPro might not be perfect at that. So we are now on the GoPro Hero 5 camera and AirPods. And camera. Here is the GoPro Hero 5 just in a regular whiteboard setting and using the GoPro Hero 5 in the regular whiteboard setting. So our last test is going to be using the OWL, which is a roughly, this is the OWL Pro is roughly $900 to $1,000. Okay, we're using the Meeting OWL Pro at this point. You can see that it has a wider screen and it also shows the entire room with a pop band. One of the things we haven't tested is with students to see if this is a distraction. So now I am talking and it, a 
adjusts the level. But you can see that the owl adjusts where it's looking based on where I am talking, which can be good or perhaps not good, depending on the situation. Also, not all teachers will be speaking at the front of the room. So maybe there's another opportunity here. So looking at that, I'm going to go and go to the other section of the room. Okay, I'm speaking over in the back section of the room and I have a question. I wasn't sure how that works. What happens when I'm at the back of the room and I have a question? Now I come back here and I answer that question. Okay, that's a great question. Let's see what we can find as an answer. Um, right, good question. Let's go over here as well. And I'm going to go over to this section of the room and ask a question. So I'm down here asking a question as a student. A uh, quick question over here, and hopefully you'll be able to answer it. So I'm back over here, the front of the room, answering the question. And the camera seems to be looking around the room for other activities. And that is pretty much it. The beauty of the Alva too is it includes a speaker in it. So when you're on a Zoom call, if one of the students needs to ask a question, it works quite well. Uh, you can see, however, that it does take some time to move the other screens off once those come offline. Pro on the regular whiteboard with a slightly different lighting. So this is the Owl Pro, and after talking for a little bit, it adjusts its position based on where it hears me. And if I am taller, it goes taller. If I am shorter, it will move shorter. But this is the Owl Pro using just the regular whiteboard. Let's also go over here and see if when I talk, and list things like the perfect square numbers listed over here. We have the perfect square numbers listed right here. So three squared is nine, et cetera, et cetera. Hopefully that was visible. Okay, now I'm here back in front and it quickly switches over. So that is all four of them. I will show the setup shortly.